Greetings from Thailand. My name is Pat Kiratisin. I'm the Vice President for Research at Mahidol University. It is my great pleasure to join all of you virtually, and I would like to thank the University of Leeds and the organizing committees for inviting me to join this important event. Speaking of knowledge equities, global challenges, and open partnerships, I do believe that everyone agrees that they are very critical for all universities and they make us all connected. I would like to share my perspective and would love to learn from your discussion. Universities basically have two main missions. First, to create new knowledge, as we call research. And second, to transfer knowledge to our students or learners, as we call academic. Conventionally, both activities occur mostly within the university territories. But now in the real world, knowledge can happen anywhere, anytime, beyond the university's boundaries. So university faculties and all learners should not be locked up in a box. For our missions, the big picture is getting bigger. Research is not only an investigation in a laboratory or in a field or working on the papers, but we have to solve the world problem by advancing technologies, innovation, and social creativities. Without sharing and equitable access, how do we make a progress on new research? We may do similar research over and over and become competitors instead of being collaborators. Academy is not only teaching, but also providing learning experiences and preparing graduates to be ready to the real world. We all know that it is more efficient if our students can explore what they are interested in from any resources, not just in the books that we assign them. Now, we even have a greater expectation. Universities are talking about the third missions, not only academic and research, but also socioeconomic responsibilities. We need to find some breakthrough that causes disruptions that are beneficial to societies or communities, as well as to improve the country's economy, such as supporting startups and SME businesses, or promoting entrepreneurial mindset. We also have to open our doors for more corporate collaborations. We can tackle the realistic issues in the industry. University is not just academic institute anymore, but needs to transform to be an ecosystem to advance the knowledge through research and innovation. Our students are changing swiftly. They are likely to learn from social media where they can gain the social experiences that are not provided in the classroom. The question is, are universities and faculties ready? If not, why? What lifted you? So universities must be more diversified. Universities professors need to transform themselves quickly and continuously in order to prepare our students and the communities to catch up with the world. Therefore, Universities are not only educators, but need to be a coach for the new generations. Sometimes when I talk to our young faculties that you know you are highly expected to save the world, I told them that you need to be prepared to be like a superman or a superwoman. And I am not a joker. How can we be a superman? if we do not have a wide open air space to find to go help people. Likewise, universities need to have open sources for knowledge. Given that a large number of knowledge are created from the universities, so should we be limited to access those? 
In addition, sometimes we need to pay a high price to obtain a piece of information. This could be difficult for middle and lower income countries or most countries in the global south. The more barriers, the less equities. As we can see that there are lower developments in many parts of the world, reflecting a serious issue of inequalities, including in academia. Sometimes when I see my students playing with the IG, which refers to Instagram for them, and that let them connect to the world. I was thinking that it is a similar thing in higher education. I told them that it reminds me to think about IG as industrial and global connection in which every sector, every partners are very important to move the world forward. This is truly the global challenge. We need to have partners who can complement for what we have and to fulfill for what we don't have. Even a computer has a limited space to store. How can we know everything without a collaborative effort among partners? With open partnerships, we can see more open doors to improve ourselves and to guide our students for their desired futures. So why not? In my quick view, I believe that knowledge equities and open partnerships are related and that we should allow knowledge to be easily accessible and allow partners to build up the relationship with less barrier. This is like the open and free airspace that allows everyone, even if we are not a superhero, to find a point where they can see things clearly and look for target at the right direction. Knowledge is a foundation on building the futures. If the futures is a big construction, knowledge are small pieces to incorporate into the structures and strengthen it up. An engineer cannot build the whole building. He would need an architect, an electrician, a plumber, and so on. Limited access to knowledge is like a limitation to find quality materials for a better construction. Limited partnerships would not allow us to make a complete building or even make it collapse. Therefore, knowledge equities and open partnerships are important components to make our sustainable futures. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.